My name is Jack Heyman. I've been a member of the Longshore Union since 1980 when I moved to Oakland. In 1984, our union struck against the ship from South Africa because of the apartheid policies. Four years later in 1990, when Nelson Mandela spoke here at the Oakland Coliseum, he said it was that illegal strike that ignited the anti-apartheid movement in this country. And we're proud of that. It was illegal. It was a disruption of the port. And it's something that should be supported by everybody in this room. The second action I want to talk about is in 1997, there were Liverpool dock workers that were locked out of work in England. When the ship came to port, we refused to cross a picket line in support of the Liverpool dock workers. And guess who was on the picket line with us? Jerry Brown. And when there were charges against us and we had to go to court, guess who was leading the march to defend the protesters? Ignacio de la Fuente. So let's not be hypocrites today. One last thing, in 2003, at the beginning of this illegal war in Iraq, there were protesters in the port of Oakland. Is someone going to see And you, time? as the city council and the or mayor, is someone going at to the see? time, sent the police force. Your time is up, sir. Your, uh, my time is not up. I want to finish. I'm proud of local, my son will enjoy a local 21 city worker 26 years. Seize his time for you. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear the truth, but I'm going to tell it. In 2003, at the start of the Iraq War, that was an illegal war. It was a law, war based on lies. The people in Oakland came out to demonstrate on the docks. Longshoremen honored that picket line. They were right. The mayor of Oakland at the time, Jerry Brown, sent out the police under uh, uh, anti-terrorism laws, which you're attempting to do here today. And it cost the city of Oakland over $2 million because people were unnecessarily shot. There was a misuse of police force, and it's going to happen again if you pass this resolution. I sincerely request that every one of you vote against this resolution. Thank you.